So what do you call yourself? Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Hey. Hey, what can I do for you this fine day? This is your destiny. Hot, hot, hot. Right now. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Kick it. Come on in and enjoy yourself. Right now. We gon' party like no one else. Welcome to the Los Angeles Show. Good morning, good morning, good morning, sunshine. Morning. Lovely How y'all doing? Feeling good. good. It's kind of a cloudy day here in New York, but otherwise feeling good. Wait, okay, wait, wait. Don't peek around the corner too much. You're going to find what you're looking for. So let the sun peek around a little bit later. It's still early. It's just playing peekaboo with you. <laughs> Patience. Patience is the key. That part. Thank you both so much for taking time out of your schedule to join me today in the hot seat and or the tan line. Um, you know, I was going through the actual release and then I started watching some of the trailer and I was like, you know what? I can't. I just can't. Um, I have a lot of questions that need answers because Blink is such a heartfelt journey. Um, and whenever you're piecing something like this together and telling a story that is so sensitive and yet so near and dear to someone's heart and so life changing. Edith, Edmund, tell me a little bit about how, how do we even get to the point of telling this story to the world? Edith, you want to start? Um, well, on my side, um, I don't really know. <laughs> it was really unexpected because my husband and I just set on this amazing journey for our kids and we never expected to share it with the world. But um, then the, like a producing company reached out to us while we were on the truck and we said, like, why not? That, that could be fun. But we didn't expect to meet such a great, amazing team. Yeah. Uh, and with this, yeah, it's almost like the level of transparency that the both of you have. Um, it, it can be hard in a vulnerable space because um, I heard you mention somewhere within the documentary itself of feeling numb or even powerless. And to be able to navigate through those spaces, um, walk us through that. Um, when you get a diagnosis like that for your kids, it's a shock. You need to, you know, when you have a kids, you always imagine a future for them. And even if you know that it's not gonna be exactly like that, you still have that image in your head. But when you get that diagnosis that your kids are going blind, all of a sudden, um, like, it erases everything in a second and you need to reimagine your future and you kind of need to mourn what you were hoping um, for the future. But in, after a while you realize that it's not really true, you know, their future is gonna be just as beautiful and, and meaningful as anybody else. It's just gonna be different. So we just need to focus on the way to help them get there. Absolutely. And Edmund, while you're going through this journey and the both of you are being the rock, not just for each other, but for these beautiful babies, um, tell me a little bit about the journey for you. Yeah, I mean, as, as, a, as a film filmmaker myself and my co-director, Daniel Raw, our principal concern in making this film was to go beyond a travel log. We knew we could capture beautiful images of the world. That was a given. But what we wanted to do was make sure that we felt like a part of the family as much as possible. So that meant getting close to the kids and also making sure that we shot the film in such a way that the audience feels like they're just another member of the family. This is a film that can touch anyone. It has very universal th themes of letting go and grief and wonder and joy. And so our principal mission was, was integrating as best we could in the fam into the family and telling a truth as much as an, an emotionally authentic story as we could. Yeah, and you and your team, y'all did an amazing job with that. Blink is getting ready to hit theaters October 4th. You're telling a story that is one that everyone can see a bit of themselves in, even picturing it and paying it forward. Um, as a mom, when you said, I want to add to their memory bank, I want to prepare for their future in different ways. Now you have to get outside of self and the vision that you once had and say, I need to do things a little differently. Um, did you find, a, a, as a mom, did you find any moments that you wanted to leave on the cutting room floor, but you knew 
that it was so pertinent that you needed it to be in this film, a part of this documentary, a part of the story itself? Um, I, I think I never, it was so fun to have them uh, with us on the trip that never I questioned um, this project ever. And I, but it's only watching that the movie for the first time, then I realized how grateful um, oh, a great opportunity for me to share the story with the world. You know, I'm working so hard um, to teach things to my kids. If I'm able to share it with more people, especially that I feel we, we were so lucky to go on that trip and be able to share that with more people, it's, it's such a gift. And it's yeah. such a beautiful movie that I couldn't ask for, for a better outcome. You know, while you're going through this journey and you're taking us along with you, you're teaching us so much, even just the strength and the grace that you have with this, those moments where you really have to tap in and be stronger than you even thought that you could be in those moments and preparing for things that was not on your radar. Um, going through those doctor's appointments and getting those diagnoses, how do you find your peace? How do you find those moments where you tap in and say, you know what, I need to dig a little deeper and heal while I'm healing through it all? Actually, I think it's in my daughters, my daughter and my kids, but especially my daughters. When I told her the diagnosis, she was so calm and optimism about it. And she was so focused on finding solution. Then I had no space, like there was no way I can be weak. Like she's so strong. So I needed to be strong for her and for her brother. So she inspired me so much. I love it. And now these beautiful babies, they're thriving. They're doing the most and keeping everyone busy. I know, Edmund, you had to have had some of the highlights while working on this film and being a part of the family as an extended member. If you had to pick a highlight while putting all of this together, traveling and documenting, what would it be for you, Edmund? I think one of the things that stuck with me recently is when we had a big screening and big premiere at Telluride Film Festival, two things happened. I was sitting in the audience. I was lucky enough to be sitting in the audience with the four kids. The first thing that happened is there's a moment in the film, and I'm not spoiling much for our audience by saying that Sebastian, the father, falls over. And this is a moment in the film where everyone in the audience kind of gasps in shock. It's unexpected. Right. The four children sitting next to me burst into hysterical laughter because daddy wiped out. And you can imagine they're all cackling to themselves. And throughout the film, there were all these wonderful moments where the kids would see a secret joke between them or laugh together. And just being able to experience the film with them and see it again, see the world anew again with them as I watched my film was uh, pretty special and something that's going to stay with me, I think, for a long time. I love it. And I know for a fact that it's going to stick with these babies. You know, they're going to love this and tell this story for a long time. Um, but, you know, Edith, while you're going through a lot of this and you see how fast these kids are growing, what is it that you want the world to walk away with once they see this film? Blink, it's in theaters. You know the magic behind it and that it's going to leave. But what is it that you want families who's viewing this for the first time and they're just learning about the diagnosis itself. Um, they're seeing it all play out and unfold. What is it that you want them to walk away with? Well, there's two things. The first one is how important uh, family bond is. You know, family is so important. And um, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, you know, whenever you have challenges in your life, if you focus on what's wrong in your life, then you kind of stay stuck in it it makes everything harder. If you're able to focus on what else in your life is beautiful, you know, look at the beautiful side of, of your life where the light is, then life just get easier and you can just accomplish wonderful things. Absolutely. Blink is available in all theaters October 4th. I'm super excited to let the world know that, you know what, we are chasing the sun and letting the sun chase us. I want you to think of this as an extension of your office. So whenever you have anything going on, you feel free to tell them, look, I need to jump in the hot seat or on the tan line or for the next family vacation, bring the babies to me in New Orleans. And it's a field trip. We got <laughs> snowballs, we got crawfish and all the good things. Okay. And Edmund, we need you to travel along with us too. 
Okay, that sounds wonderful. Next time I'm nearby, I'm coming. I'm calling you. Absolutely, and I'm holding you to it. October 4th, <laughs> link in theaters. Make sure that you get to it, get to it, get to it. I know you have more work to do, but thank you so much for taking time to be with me today in the hot seat and on the tan line, and I'll see you soon. I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so for much. Like so the much. babies for me. I will. <laughs> Bye.